Ed Yong, An Immense World, How Animal Senses Reveal the Hidden Realms Around Us. Dive into the fascinating world of animal senses in this summary of An Immense World, How Animal Senses Reveal the Hidden Realms Around Us by Ed Yong. Discover how animals see, smell, and feel their environments. Feast your mind on the intriguing differences between our sensory experiences and that of animals, as well as the various ways they use their senses to survive. Explore how animals like ants and star-nosed moles rely on extraordinary abilities to navigate their world. Get ready to be amazed by the wonders of the animal kingdom and the underlying stories of their senses. Beyond Human Vision Human sight dominates our society, with our trichromatic vision setting us apart from many animals. However, we're unable to fathom the visual experiences of animals with more than three cones in their eyes who perceive a broader spectrum of colors. Beyond that, some animals like bats and dolphins use echolocation to visualize their surroundings in a completely different way. Interestingly, humans like Daniel Kish, who lost his sight early in life, have also demonstrated the ability to echolocate, providing us with insights into alternative ways of experiencing the world around us. Our world is profoundly influenced by our vision. Humans, as trichromats, possess three cones in our eyes that detect specific light wavelengths, giving us a vibrant spectrum of color perception. In contrast, animals such as dogs and horses only have two cones, while colorblind individuals often have one cone missing. Animals with additional cones perceive a wider range of colors, but they can't compare these colors like humans. Instead, they instinctively react to wavelengths of light, like Daphnia water fleas, who view flashes of color rather than complete landscapes. For these creatures, color serves purely as an environmental trigger. Another fascinating way to perceive the world is through echolocation. This sensory method, utilized by animals like dolphins and bats, involves emitting ultrasonic sound pulses and perceiving the returning echoes to create a mental map of their surroundings. Bats, for example, can use echolocation to catch insects in mid-flight and navigate intricate environments. Dolphins, on the other hand, can recognize two-dimensional pictures of objects previously explored with their sonar capabilities. Incredibly, echolocation isn't exclusive to the animal kingdom, some humans have demonstrated this ability as well. Daniel Kish, who lost his eyesight at 13 months due to an aggressive form of eye cancer, learned to navigate the world using tongue clicks for echolocation. Over time, Kish developed the skill to differentiate between houses, driveways, yards, and trees by interpreting the echoes generated from his clicks. As Kish's experience illustrates, Human echolocation is similar in function but different in detail to animal counterparts. With a lower sonar frequency than bats, Kisha's perception is less sharp, causing blurred edges and difficulty detecting objects against large backgrounds. To compensate, he focuses on density and texture when using echolocation, allowing him to effectively explore and understand the world around him. In conclusion, while human vision plays a central role in how we perceive and structure our surroundings, it's essential to recognize the extraordinary ways animals and some people, like Daniel Kish, experience the environment through different sensory methods. By appreciating and learning about these alternative modes of perception, we expand our understanding of the diverse ways beings interpret the world, and how adaptability can fuel innovative and inspiring forms of navigation, even amidst the loss of one's sight. The Power of Ant Smell It might come as a surprise, but ants possess an incredibly sensitive sense of smell, utilizing pheromones to communicate with one another. Their olfactory capabilities allow them to leave scent trails, identify fellow ants, and even summon their colony to overpower prey. Comparing the sense of smell between different species is difficult, as odors are diverse and subjective. Like taste, our sense of smell relies on molecules detected by receptors, and both senses work together to produce flavor. This is why, during a cold, our sense of taste can be affected when our sense of smell is temporarily diminished. Ants harness a powerful sense of smell through the use of pheromones, 
chemical signals allowing them to interact within their species. They leave scent trails to share the location of food sources, identify each other, and coordinate their colonies to outmatch prey collectively. For instance, red worker ants care for blue butterfly caterpillars, which emit a scent identical to that of ant grubs, even if their appearance is entirely different. Comparing the sense of smell among various species is a challenging task, as odors are diverse and almost impossible to quantify. Furthermore, the perception of smells can be entirely subjective, and the same odor might evoke different reactions from different people based on their associations with certain images. For example, a strong smell can be appetizing when linked to a delicious cheese, but disgusting when associated with a dirty sock. Our sense of taste operates similarly to our sense of smell, depending on molecules encountered by our taste receptors, which then send signals to our brains. The connection between these two senses becomes apparent when we catch a cold, our sense of smell decreases, causing food to lose its flavor, even though the taste remains the same. This phenomenon occurs because our perception of flavor is a combination of both taste and smell. So, the next time you have a cold, you'll understand why your food seems to taste different. Sensitivity beyond human touch Humans primarily rely on sight, taste, and smell to recognize food and interact with their environment. However, some animals have distinctive ways of engaging with their surroundings, making them highly specialized and incredibly efficient. Among them are star-nosed moles, crocodilians, and tick trefoil treehoppers, which have unique touch and vibration sensors for various purposes such as identifying food, communication, and sensing prey. Our perception of the world is largely influenced by sight, taste, and smell. Star-nosed moles, on the other hand, employ their unique touch sensors to understand their environment and identify food. With their star-shaped nose covered in sensitive fleshy projections, these moles quickly examine their tunnels and create a mental map of their surroundings. Their remarkable sensory speed allows them to repeatedly press their nose against surfaces and process information rapidly. Crocodilians, comprising crocodiles, alligators, and their relatives, present another example of astonishing touch sensitivity. Their skin is covered with tiny, sensitive bumps on their chins, snouts, and even around their teeth. These bumps function as sensory receptors that can detect subtle changes in water, such as ripples from prey and mating calls from other crocodilians. Additionally, these exceptional receptors enable crocodilians to assist their young in hatching or help them adjust their bites when feeding. To put their sensitivity into context, crocodilian receptors are even more precise than our fingertips, which can sense differences as minute as a quarter of a millimeter. Apart from touch, sensitivity to vibrations is another notable adaptation found in tick trefoil treehoppers, a species of insect that closely resembles a leaf. These bugs rely on vibrations to transmit information and communicate effectively. By producing vibrations on tangible surfaces, such as leaves, they signal to one another to find mates, request help, or simply socialize. While these vibrations are generally imperceptible to humans, utilizing a microphone amplifies the sounds and reveals their peculiar melodic qualities. These fascinating examples of star-nosed moles, crocodilians, and tick trefoil treehoppers highlight the immense diversity in adaptability of animal senses. The ability to utilize touch and vibrations to navigate their environments, search for food, and communicate with their counterparts demonstrates that the animal world is intricate and full of wonder, with countless exceptional senses yet to be explored and understood. Nature's Invisible Forces Melanophila beetles possess an incredible ability to sense infrared radiation, allowing them to detect forest fires from miles away for mating and egg-laying on charred bark. On the other hand, humans are unable to detect magnetic fields directly but can use tools such as a compass. Animals, including birds, sea turtles, and spiny lobsters, have magnetoreception enabling them to migrate and navigate. Additionally, some fish use electroreception and electrolocation to sense their environment actively. Sharks and rays, with their sensitive electroreceptors, can hunt by detecting the bioelectric fields their prey generates. Fire-hunting Melanophila beetles harbor fluid-filled spheres in pits under their wings, 
allowing them to sense infrared radiation from forest fires even from dozens of miles away. Upon detection, the beetles fly miles closer, mate amidst the flames and lay their eggs on cooled, charred bark. Unlike these beetles, humans can only indirectly feel infrared radiation as heat, such as from a fireplace or a hot oven. A crucial force that humans aren't capable of sensing directly is the Earth's magnetic field, a vital guiding factor many animals rely on. Birds, sea turtles, and spiny lobsters use magnetoreception to aid their seasonal migrations or return home. Baby sea turtles use the Earth's magnetic field as a guide into the ocean and back to the beaches they were born in to lay their eggs as adults. Research by Ken Lohman in the 1990s demonstrated how newborn loggerhead turtles are innately familiar with this travel path, dictated by the magnetic field. Similarly, spiny lobsters use magnetoreception to find their way back home after hunting trips. Even when exposed to random magnetic fields, these lobsters can accurately navigate towards their distant homes. Apart from magnetoreception, another lesser-known phenomenon is electroreception and electrolocation. Electrolocation is the active process of using generated electric fields to sense the environment. Some fish, such as electric eels and knife fishes, establish electric fields around their bodies using stacked electrocyte cells to regulate ions flow. Electroreceptors then detect any disturbances within the electric field, caused by other animals or objects. While electric eels can generate a deadly electrical charge, other fish can only produce a shock equivalent to licking a battery. In contrast, certain species, such as sharks and rays, use electroreceptors to detect naturally occurring, smaller bioelectric fields created by living beings. This enables them to hunt using electric fields whenever their sight or smell proves inadequate. Ultimately, the natural world boasts an array of extraordinary senses and talents, including magnetoreception and electroreception, that guide creatures seamlessly and enable them to survive and thrive in diverse environments. As we have seen, the animal kingdom contains an incredible array of sensory adaptations that far exceed our human abilities. From animals with more sophisticated color vision than us, to creatures that use echolocation, and those with unique magnetic or electric communication abilities, there is so much to learn from our fellow inhabitants on Earth. This summary of an immense world, how animal senses reveal the hidden realms around us has revealed remarkable abilities across species which will hopefully not only inspire a greater appreciation for their capabilities, but also challenge us to learn from them and potentially improve our own understanding of the world.